Hello neighbors, it's Brad here at eTrailer and I'm with Jim who's been using his Reese Goosebox adapter for some time now. This is something that a lot of uh, times we've installed on vehicles and, and I've gotten to see the difference when we're actually out in the parking lot on our test course, but I can't say that I've actually lived with one or towed a long distance, but here we actually have our neighbor who's willing to kind of give his experience on this goose box and kind of his pros and cons on it and what he likes about it. So how long have you had this box in particular? Uh, about a year and a half. I installed it in the summer uh, of uh, 2020. Okay. And and what would you say uh, the best, what are the best parts about this one in particular that sets it aside from maybe some other ones out there? Uh, well, at the time, this was the only uh, style, as it were, of, of uh, you know, just a, connecting to a goose ball at the time. So uh, I, I went with it for many reasons. One, ease of hooking up. I don't have to try to get out a 200 pound hitch out of my truck to use the, the bed for plywood or dimensional lumber. Um, also the fact it's got, you know, uh, an airbag and dual shock that, you know, I knew and watching other YouTube videos of people that installed them and, and the success they were having. I just felt this was a, a better option uh, to go with, uh, again, to save that space in the bed and, uh, you know, ride, uh, ride in comfort, basically going down the road, yeah. Did you have other options besides this one when you were no, looking? No, so again, when I started looking and I thought I was gonna go with this and I ended up going with the pull right. Uh, again, I wish I had went straight with this, but I didn't. And once I did go to this, uh, yeah, there's no other one out there. I, I know there's a Gen Y out there, mm -hmm. but that's got a, tor that's got a torsion bands mm -hmm. in it. This actually has two shocks and an airbag in it. That's more reliable. Uh, uh, suspension, more reliable, uh, what do you want to call it, uh, just about a ride, right? Yeah. yeah. Because you got that those, those pan, yeah, because when you have uh, uh, compression bands in there, that, that's just squishing those bands, and this is actually providing a suspension, you know, and it's adjustable as far as the air goes. And that's something that I think a lot of people don't realize is, you know, you don't really get to go out and test these, but as soon as you put a good one in, right. immediately you notice the difference, oh, the right. first bump you hit it, and it, yeah. it just changes the driving experience. Exactly, exactly. That's why I said, you're right, you can't you can't just show up at a RV dealer and, you know, and say, hey, I like want to try that first, or do you have a camper with one in it that I, you know, can pull around your lot or whatever, but. Yeah, it's, it's unfortunate, but yeah, it's, it is what yep. it is. So. And that's why it's nice to be able to talk to you about it because someone that's had it, used it, you know, I've, I've driven um, some some nice boxes around just the parking lot and I get right. kind of the idea, but when you live with it and actually yep. tow long distances, you get to see the benefits. Yeah. I, so. we told, I towed this, uh, I had this on all last year. I put it on in 2020, in about July of 2020, uh, we went to uh, Pigeon Forge, Tennessee uh, and you know, we did 1600 miles round trip and it just, you know, it pulled and rode like a dream. I couldn't have asked anything better. Yeah. Even my wife says there's a big difference mm -hmm. pulling this down the road. So anyway, well, I, again, it, it's every worth every penny. Uh, as far as I'm concerned, and I'll never go to another fifth wheel without one. Well, it seems like Jim is really enjoying his Reese Gooseneck adapter. And one of the, our guys here, Randy, actually has done a video on this, kind of going over the features of it. So let's take a look at that. Now, this is going to be a fifth wheel kingpin replacement that allows us to connect to a goose ball in our truck. So we don't have to have the fifth wheel in the bed of the truck taking up all that space. We don't have to have fifth wheel rails in the bed of the truck that we have to work around anytime we actually want to use our truck. It's going to be a very nice solid replacement and it has huge benefits to it. Basically we've got an airbag built in right here. This entire lower portion pivots this direction on this main bolt. So as we encounter the stuff we typically do as we're heading down the road, bumps and stuff like that, all of that gets absorbed not only by that airbag but also by the dual shocks that you'll see in just a minute here on the back side reduces chucking, it reduces the, the uncomfortableness that typically comes with hauling a fifth wheel. The porpoising as we head down the road, that gets absorbed. And it can also help to take a lot of the stress off of our truck and off of our trailer because all of that absorption that we have right here in the middle. 
Now we have replacements for the 1716, the 0719, the 1621, and the 1621 HD. That's going to be either in a 16,000 pound capacity or in a 20 pound, 20,000 pound capacity. So we should have one that's going to fit the more common pin boxes out there. It's going to use all the same hardware. If your hardware is damaged or there's any kind of issues with it, you want to replace it with 5 8 inch diameter hardware. Grade 8 is what I prefer. And as you can see, we've got our bolt passed through our wing plate here into the pin box with a flat washer. On the inside, we'll use a lock washer and a nut to keep everything really nice and secure. Now, of course, not every truck and trailer combination are created equal. So this is a fully adjustable setup. You can see our Schrader valve right here. We can add or reduce the amount of air that we have in that airbag to fine tune it for our application. And here you can see those shocks. The airbag takes a lot of the brunt force out of the situation. The shocks just keep everything from moving around. So any of that bouncing or that chucking really gets isolated right in this area. Something else I really like about this coupler that I think is an improvement over the Gen Y, which I really, really like the Gen Y. I, I like the Gen Y and its function a little better than what I like this one. But one thing I do really like on this one the Gen Y does not have is the quick latch mechanism here. So we're gonna bring this up, lower it down onto our two and five sixteenths inch ball. This lever is gonna come back and then move back forward, locking it in position. At that point, we can just hang our T-handle here and we're ready to uncouple our trailer. Just pull that back and lock it back in that slot. That's gonna hold it in that unlocked position. So as we raise it, it's gonna come right up and off. To make sure that that works properly, you can see there's a grease zerk right here on the back side. This is going to allow us to get grease into this pivot point and ensure that it stays working for a very long time. And the overall quality and construction is really good. Nice heavy duty steel components all the way through it. And the powder coat finish on it is really good. Um, we mentioned it just a little while ago. but. The Gen Y is the closest competitor to this, really. Um, both the Goose Box and the Gen Y don't really avoid any kind of warranties on your camper. Uh, there's a convertible version, which will attach to the Kingpin pin box. And that one you gotta watch out for. Some manufacturers don't like that being on their camper. So keep that in mind. But if I were choosing between the Reese Goose Box and the Gen Y, I would go with the Gen Y. I like their finish quality more. It's got kind of a, a hammered finish. Their powder coat is, is really, really good. And I like that there's no maintenance with the Gen Y. As long as your camper falls within that tongue weight range, which is appropriate for that head, you don't have to change air pressure in your airbags. You don't have to worry about shocks deteriorating over time. It uses a torsion flex system. Now with that one, it's just got one setting. so. You want to be sure that you're in the middle of that optimal range on it to ensure that you're going to get any benefit out of it. If you're not in that optimal range, I think the goose box is definitely the way to go because we can adjust this and get it where we want it. All right, now with an extra set of hands, we're going to get our pin box put back in position. We're going to ease it in here. And it's a good idea to have somebody ready with the bolts to get them put in place for you. We want to get Two of them started on each side. There we go. Now we're reusing the old hardware and basically we're just gonna put our 5 8 bolt through with a flat washer. Then on the back side, we've got a lock washer and a nut that goes in place. So we're just gonna get these started, snug down, and then we'll torque them down to specification. Now for these 5 8 bolts, you want to use a 15 16 We're going to use an impact here with a wrench. Now another nice feature is the auto latch, and we're going to show you that as we couple it. Makes it real easy, especially with a wiring plug there at the back. We can plug that in and head down the road. So take a look at that now. Something else I like about that is it goes down and on. You'll see it kind of guides itself on. So you don't have to be perfectly centered underneath there. 
It's got a little bit of a bevel that allows it to come in, lines it up for us, and you'll see that lever start to move back there, go into the unlocked position, and then right back forward for us. That'll have us in the fully locked position. Now we'll just pull up our landing gear the rest of the way and hook up our chains and our wiring. We'll be ready to go. Now during your initial setup, you need to add air into the pin box. And basically you're just gonna go up to the mark. So we're gonna take our air line, bring it in over here and get our air added. Once we've got up to the appropriate mark there, we know that we're good to go, then our pin box is level. If we need to take a little bit out, pretty easy. You can see that's gonna allow us to fine tune that red. Now, when we're ready to unhook, We'll just use the bracket here. What we want to do, pull it out and back behind, and that's going to keep it unlocked for us. At that point, we'll just raise our landing gear and be ready to disconnect. So as you guys can see, there's big benefits in a goose box. All that absorption that we get, not having to have that fifth wheel in the back of our vehicle. I really, really like this idea, and if I had a fifth wheel camper like this, I would definitely be using either this or the Gen Y. I'd use the Gen Y if I fell within the sweet range of it. If I didn't, this would be the one I had. I just like the idea of connecting to a gooseneck ball that we can flip over and hide. I also like the idea of taking a lot of the stress off the truck and off the trailer. So definitely a good investment. You'll also hear that when working with customers, or I've heard it when working with customers that wish I would have got this sooner. It makes the ride so much better. It's a lot easier on my truck. It's a lot easier on my camper. So definitely a good investment, especially if you're putting some miles on your camper. Thanks, Randy. And that was a look at the Reese Goose Boxes.